Styles with Destiny. Today we're going to cover several things. Again, um, a first intro into my YouTube channel. So basically we are talking about affordable fashion, affordable stores, organization, inventory, and most importantly, what's in your closet. Now, most people think that when it comes to styling and things, far as shopping goes, oh, I need to go to a store, right? So when you are looking for things, check your closet, check your inventory. Your closet will tell you everything that you have and what you need, and you really do have more than enough, right? So I know a lot of people are thinking like, oh my gosh, it's quarantine. What am I supposed to do right now? This is the most important time that you have to check what's in your closet, you know? So when we are talking about affordable fashion and as far as styling goes, we're looking more at the perspective of like stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or even like your stores like Forever or um, Fashion Nova is even a good one because I mean their stuff, their things aren't overpriced. And one reason why I like the Ross, the um those type of stores, the most importantly Ross, why is because they have affordable name brands at a very low price versus what you would get off their actual website. So when you are looking for like this spring and summer, I mean, you're thinking to yourself, where can I go? I'm inside. Well, there's nothing wrong with sprucing yourself up while you're on the inside because one, it makes you feel good. And two, you know, you just never know what you can do with whoever's walking through your door, you know, which is your, your spouse or just even if this wants you to feel good about yourself, you know, self-care and grooming is very important and like I say it helps you to look forward to whatever else is coming you know along that things are not going to always be like this and it gives you something to do to occupy your time while you have the time so to get started we're going to talk about different prints different colors and patterns that you can just use just to like help you in your everyday like routine say some people are still going to work or even if you just want to check out things for even future time or even like next summer you know these are things that you're basically getting rid of all fall winter and you're moving into spring and summer and granted it's already really feels like summer even though it is April. you know we feel like it's pretty much like june or july okay so when you're really talking about like far as colors and prints it's really good a deal to when you're getting to the organization of things and instead of checking the store's inventory check your inventory mainly important because we all have things that's in our home or that's hiding around that you got that you didn't want to tell anybody about because i used to do that too especially when i was much younger you know? So, like I say, check what you have in your home. You know, we have things that you see, you find yourself, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that I had, I had that. And guess what? It is literally fall or winter, and the time has passed for you to wear it. Or, like I say, if you live in Florida, where the weather is pretty much like 80 degree weather, it can be in October, and you could pull that off, or even November. You just never know when it comes to this type of weather. Anyways, so, when it comes to that, like I say, grab the, the tops that you have, the short sleeve tops, mainly because it is hot or warm. So, grab those, and grab the colors that you see. Like, start grabbing, like, big bold colors, red, electric red, electric purple, yellow, even pastel with what you already have and what's in your closet meaning white i mean who doesn't have white crisp things in your closet or even pastel colors like pastel pink baby blue um you know you have those things to kind of like help you know you flow into that color direction even if like just warm colors that looks like spring or summer you know that you can pull off until this this season and this new time that we're in right so also you're thinking about oh my gosh my shirts and stuff have like a lot of stripes on them you know like what can i do about that or a lot of prints <laughs> that's the best way to go so when you are dealing with patterns and colors and stuff you know and you have a lot of big bold print it's never nothing it's nothing wrong with mixing print with print i know it's like one of those oh, like what do i do did she really just try this fashion thing like she really failed but no there are ways to go about it one of the main ways that i'm pretty sure if you haven't heard is using the smaller print with the bigger print like if you're going to do a floral print you can do that with the smaller stripe lining that you that's really like it's not noticeable but if you color coordinate it and it's just like you can make it look right like i know a lot of fashion sites like um 
pretty much on one because I do love Michael Kors. I like Coach. Those are very, like, they're not so expensive brand. But if you try to say during this quarantine time, like how I am, you know, because the girl hasn't really been shopping. She just looks at what she has. This is the whole purpose of this channel. <laughs> So, over time, and you're trying to budget, especially right now, because we're on this whole quarantine thing, and Jesus has kept my purse together and my wallet in check. Thank you, Lord. But if you are in this time and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to work with what I have to those things and those patterns. Like I say, if you see something in your closet, and even if you have like a pattern like top with either like some gold or purple or white in it, because those are colors. I mean, I think I've had one and you can just pair it. What color is more basic in there that you can even pair with some white shorts or some black shorts or a black bottom. You think to yourself, hold on, wait a minute. I do not really do the whole short because I ain't trying to look all hot and, you know, hoochie coochie out here. Cool, no problem. We can sure solve that issue. You have things like there's a thing called Bermuda shorts. And I don't know if you noticed, but those are definitely checking really in right now, okay? Um, Like I say, you can definitely do some cute, like, knee-length Bermuda shorts and whether they're jeaned or in a very, like, um just a very subtle like color so instead of jean you can also think of like all my thin material you know like not super thin but it's very breeze and cool feeling so you can even do it with that and also like having like a cute top on see something like this i mean not you know this same thing because if this is not your style totally agree but find things that's in your closet that works for you that makes you feel comfortable remember always remember the clothes don't make you you make the clothes okay so what looks crazy on somebody else can honestly look great on you and you can be like hey i did this i worked this this is my style and you own it you know especially if some are you going to work in you constantly think it to yourself Oh my gosh, I have, I literally wear the same things all the time and you're sick of it. Well, here's where this helps, these tips help you come in because it helps your getting together and ready process a little bit quicker. You know, versus you thinking, well, I don't wear that a thousand times, so I gotta go buy something else, which is very, somewhat, very unnecessary. <laughs> okay, so when you are looking, checking for what you have, like I say, especially if you're going to work, find some nice slacks with that, with that flowy, like, um, color top of yellow or pastel pink or whatever you want, or even white, and you could throw on a cute cardigan when you go in the office. So what if it shows off your shoulders? Put on a cute cardigan. In, and you could put on some nice slacks or not even slacks but some nice cut ankle um pants dress pants i'm into those ankle dress pants okay check out h&m if you want to for those even new york and company has very good um you know knee like length or ankle cut dress pants okay so also too when you are checking for your or when you are checking your inventory your merchandise that's in your home you also should be aware of hey say for instance something doesn't turn out right or it doesn't fit anymore give it away this is the most important time to give away because people are in need you know and you never know how you can be a blessing to somebody else and they're like Oh my gosh, like I really needed this or my children really need this. This is the time to check what you have and just give. You may know a family member or a friend or a girlfriend that has kids or whomever. You know, take this time to look at your clothes and say, hey, I'm never going to wear this anymore. Or, you know, this can be in use for somebody else. Now look here, when you check checking inventory, don't be giving away stuff that's not right, okay? Because look, if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't work, let it be, okay? Just just get rid of it because nobody want nothing that's not, no, no. That's just not a thing, okay? So, also, too, when you are, um, like I say, you're working with your tops, start from the next step is your bottoms, okay? So, you know, because most people think, like, putting together two items is such a hard thing. Not really, okay? Like, I know most people feel as though, or women, I hear sometimes feel as though, oh, you have to wear, like, a dress slip that on and go and yeah that's fine and dandy hey find you some a-line dresses some maxi dresses you know that shows off your figure with some stripes the floral prints and be jazzy cute but you also can do the tops and bottoms so find your shorts find your skirts your flowy skirts not your tight pencil skirts because it's kind of too hot for that okay especially if you're not in the office so find your cute flowy skirts or your a-line skirts that fills out like a peplum you know you just never know what you have and start grabbing those things and working with that you know, and create room, like I say, for removing out your fall or winter and moving it to the side and putting what's in your face. Because most importantly, when you're in your closet, you only tend to look at what you see, you know, what's in front of you. So that's the time to start gathering those things and putting those things like in the front surface. Because if you don't see it, you're not going to wear it like those shoes that you got a year ago and you never wore. And therefore, this time. 
Just saying. So yeah, and like um and like I say, it prepares you and when you're doing this stuff, it kinda gets you in a position to think about other things. It gets you in a position to look forward to something. Yeah, nothing has really happened yet, but something will. And when that time comes, you're you're getting your sense to yourself in a mode of prepping versus you just sitting there and thinking like what am I supposed to do with my life right now? And there's nothing to look for for these things, not just styling or if you, even if you're a girly girl, you're in a style, you know, this is right up your alley because it's right up mine, you know, and it doesn't feel like work. But when you're styling and organizing, it definitely puts you in a perspective of you want to do and not you have to do. And then it's like you kind of just stop and put it to the side. Okay. So, now to the shoe game and the purses. I am a shoe and a purse kind of gal. You know, I love the big, bold shoes. You know, I'm a, personally a fan of Steve Madden. I'm a fan of, really, Steve Madden. I mean, there's not nothing else. I love Uggs. I, and they don't just have Ugg boots. They have really cute, like, styles for spring and summer that's different. And that's what you look like. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I like when things are different in colors because that's when you can add those simple tops that maybe has or has a pattern or they don't and you can put it with that shoe just to jazz it up like that hot pink steam man and why i say that because it's mules and i have it and i love it i might show you guys in the next video about this one time um just so you can see what i'm talking about okay so when you are started with your tops and your bottoms, you move on to the shoes and your purses and you kind of weigh in like and see what you have. And that kind of just reduces your perspective of just trying to always find and you need to go shopping. Like I say, the most thing that you can do is like I say, look for inspiration. When you are looking for inspiration, look at those sites, see that there is like coach for them. It's like stripes are very in with them, you know? So you kind of look in your closet and see like, oh, this is, this is what I have. I hear a lot of people are doing like, you know, online shopping so if you are going to online shop you know of course be reasonable during this time but if hey you're going to do what you want to do first we'll do that too mm -hmm. but if you do find yourself like wanting to just pick up you know or actually have a reason and purpose get something that you need versus rather than you want i mean it's kind of like a want but it's kind of like a piece that you don't have that i mentioned like a flowy top or um any of those type of dresses that you do like and even if you don't have any bottoms like this is a way to get your bottom sets going you know to show off or even if you don't have sandals this is time to get your sandal collection together you know because well unless you're in a place where it's always cold but here in florida you definitely can wear sandals to quite a bit throughout the year just saying mm -hmm. more than what you can wear boots sometimes but um yeah these are just tips and ways to help you know your everyday fashion but also help you get organized during this time you know so if you have any comments or questions please comment below of what you want to see me starting with this channel like if you want to see different styling see me in styling um clothing outfits which is you will eventually because a girl loves the style girl loves to put clothes together and so you can actually visualize like what i'm saying what i'm talking about i know you're like oh my gosh like how i'm supposed to do this she doesn't even see my closet like i need her here boo i got you <laughs> <laughs> so over time you will definitely see different more visualized styling tips and things that actually can play a role in your everyday life or hey you just getting jazzy to go somewhere you know and we will cover all seasons on this channel and if you like you say if you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about as far as your wardrobe clothing or anything in that just comment down below and i'll be sure to provide that proper content for you so Thank you again so much, and most importantly, welcome to Styles by Destiny.